So you treat people that either are really loud snorers. Yes. Or they have sleep apnea and they're wearing those big appliances. I guess they don't wear their, their CPAP. And you get them off CPAP. Tell me about that. Well, first of all, compliance factor for CPAP is, is not there. So most people hate the CPAP. But they have apnea. And let me tell you, Randy, apnea, sleep apnea is a very, very serious condition. So, yes, some people just snore and some people have sleep apnea and some people have both. And what we can build them is an oral appliance. There's a little plastic here and it's a plastic there. And what it does is takes the lower jaw and brings that lower jaw forward. You can still move your jaw around. It's very comfortable. I wear one every night. Been one oh, is that right? Years. Yes, okay. absolutely. I'm, everybody on my staff does. And so this brings the tongue forward. And so when the tongue forward is, comes forward, it opens up the back of the throat. So they can so breathe. So when you snore, it's kind of like a, a, a blowing up a balloon and pulling that tight. And so when you're sleeping and the tongue falls back in the back of your throat, that's what's happening. Okay. And so you can't get the air in and out like you want to. So here's the front door and here's the back door. And if you just have the front door and the back door closed, the air can't go through. But it but works. Can, I, mean, oh, it works. I mean, it works. It works. Because they breathe, I guess, perfectly during the day. But when they lay down, everything changes. the jaw drops back. Well, so when you lay down it. and when you sleep. When, you, when sleep, you sleep, everything changes. So you just kind of move. It sounds simple. But it just comes Have forward. Have you had so, people that you've taken off CPAP? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. And we've even have people that have CPAP, but they're so serious that the, the air's turned up so high. And we put an appliance in like this, and they may go from a number like 12, which is extremely high, down to like a 2. It just makes it more comfortable. Now, when you travel, you don't have to, you just put it in your ditty bag because it's just a little piece, two pieces of plastic. When you sleep, you can turn over, you can okay. roll, you can do whatever you want, and it's not a problem. Is the snoring the easiest to reverse? Yeah, the snoring so is the loud, easiest Because these people have to sleep in another room if they're oh, married. Oh, yes, absolutely. They get back absolutely. in the same or room. Or they have sore ribs all night long. All and right. that's what we hear the most, you know? So the spouse is always gigging the other one. It might be male or female. So no more loud snoring. No more loud snoring.